judges, it is time to deliberate. Yeah. It's not going to be easy, guys. All of them were really good. Uh, that was kind of my first takeaway is how talented all of these individuals were to create something off of scratch. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with Cynthia's taco. For me, I felt like that the coconut shrimp in that I could not stop eating. Yeah. That I, I wanted more of the coconut shrimp. So something that you guys talked about is how it's very much like Baja on the beach. That yeah. that really yeah. stuck in my head, which I think is so on brand for Rubio's. Absolutely, totally agree. I mean, for me, I loved the presentation. I loved the color, the colors. Um, there was a lot of technique in that actual cooking of this product too. Yeah. And it was fried just perfectly to a nice golden crisp. Yeah. Now moving on to um, uh, to Felicia's taco. Gosh, that sauce is what's probably going to oh. stick out most yeah. in my mind. It was powerful. It yeah. was special. I normally don't encounter a lot of sweet and spicy. I don't gravitate that to that. So when I get it occasionally, and that sauce when it tastes as good as it did today. That was really impactful. It really resonated yeah. with you guys' sauce. Okay, third one. Um, so our, I, I have never had where the Dijon, where the mustard, right, is that. No, I love mustard. It's my favorite condiment. Mustard girlies. Right. <laughs> there you go. Add that to the list. I love the creativity, love the uniqueness, and the color was awesome. And it was very different from the rest of them, right? It yeah. was on a corner to you. Yeah. Okay, so guys, do we have a favorite? 